there's no project too hard in your house or your yard try like us cause we are the attempters hi guys welcome back to the attempters diy i'm lindsay i'm ashlyn and today we are going to do a new project called bottle me up Ashlyn, take it away because you've done a bunch of these before. I have. I saw this on Pinterest and I decided that I really liked the idea. So I'm going to make a bunch of these for the people who are giving me my wedding showers. My fiance happens to own a restaurant or two, so we have I've asked all the bartenders to keep all the old bottles and lids if they could. So here's one of them. And it's really gross, it has a lot of crap on it. People but are drinking. Yes, they're having a great time. So thankfully because I have a bottle for free. The materials you will need are the following. You'll need a bottle, or two, or 10, depending on how many that you want to make. The next thing you'll need is paint. You really only need one bottle per bottle because um, it doesn't take that much paint. For the cleaning process, you will need some old, nasty washcloth. Real nasty. Real nasty, because it's gonna get nasty. You'll also need some acetone or nail polish remover, as you can call it. And what you'll put the acetone or nail polish remover in is a bin that you don't care about anymore. You will need an array of cutting utensils. I just found some tools that help me along the process. To get more stuff off of your bottle, I use uh, a sponge with a scouring part on one side to help scrape. And you will need two days of patience to make wow. this actually work. But really it doesn't take that much to do. Once you get, the hardest part is getting this label off and letting it dry. It takes kind of some time. So if you have a little portable fan or if you can leave it outside for a day or so, that's your best bet. All right, let's get to scraping. I'm gonna use gloves because my, my skin's pretty sensitive to acetone. But you don't have to, it's just up to you. So, I've got this bottle with these ugly, nasty things on it. You're gonna pour some acetone in the bottom of here. You don't have to put too much in there, but it helps with the removal. I have this tool that I just found, but I'm gonna take off as much as I possibly can and put it into this bowl. And sometimes with different bottles, they have different adhesives. So I have to use different utensils. But once you get through that, oh, it comes off all, really nicely. Mm -hmm. All the residue can come out, no problem. So once you do that for all of it, the only thing that I would say to think about is don't let these little guys stay along because it just won't look that good. Oh my goodness! Okay. Yay! Okay. okay, so we've cleaned two bottles. This is my bottle. This is my bottle. bottle. And the check is to see if there's any water that comes out on your hand. If no water, you're ready to go. Because remember, we're painting on the inside, not the outside. All right, so pick out your paint. Not hard. I'm doing blue. I have a lot of blues in my kitchen. Doing a rustic color, because that's the kind of stuff I like. Mm -hmm. um, if you can find a cap that works, that's all you need. It just helps in the process. So, open your paint. This is exciting. Pour it in. And don't pour all of it in because you might want it for a little bit later. On with the cap. And this only helps in this process. You don't need the cap afterward. You can get paint on it, whatever. Pour it upside down and around. Sometimes I'll shake it because it'll help get... Yep, shake it, do a jig. Yeah. <laughs> and you literally just coat the outside. If you feel like it's going too slow, you probably have too little paint. All right. So, we finished painting these. They are still wet inside, so we can't put anything in them yet. But, what do you think? That looks nice. So cool, I like your color, I'm a fan. This and is a lot of fun this time around. You can dance with it, you can shake it. Shake what your mama gave you. Or what the bottle gave you. And I wanted to tell you, these are some other ones that we just did while we were waiting for the other paint to dry. And they're just little like spice bottles that my mom had in her kitchen and she was never gonna use them again. So you can, get, you don't have to get stuff from, a, from a, a bar or a restaurant. You don't have to have a party in order to make these bottles. No. You can actually get pickle jars, mayonnaise jars, anything that's glass that has a label that's removable. That's perfect. And it's actually really cool because if you put them all together, you can make a little family. And it looks a little bit better. None of them look good by themselves, in my opinion. They all look good and much better with a buddy. 
Awesome! <laughs> You're so cool. So we'll show you some final products of what we've come up with in the past. Here's some finished bottles that we have done in the past with some inserts. You can do some pretty flowers or we put chopsticks in the smaller bottle. Any kind of utensil you have in the kitchen, just something sweet to decorate with. Yep. Awesome. What do you think, Ryan? Ryan, he's so sweet, okay. <laughs> I'll let him follow me up any day. <laughs> Tune in next week for a project called You're Invited where Ashlyn will show us how she handmade her wedding invitations. Uh, make sure that you look at our step-by-step -step for this if you have any questions at all on our The Attempters DIY blog. And follow us on Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. Yes, please. Have a good week. Bye. I'm gonna use gloves because my my skin's pretty sensitive to acetone. She just doesn't want to ruin her nails. Getting but People are drinking. All right, let's get to scraping. Oh, my attempting to pull off the cap. This DIY project is called a job. Oh.